Uh, one of my interests is stamp collecting and from time to time I acquire old envelopes which just because of the passage of time they've become a little bit dog-eared and tired and rather than put them into the album or the collection as is with my skills as a bookbinder I'm able to use my paper repairing techniques so as you can see the top of the envelope has been roughly opened or it's become very tatty in this 70 odd years since it was uh, posted as you see I'm working on a piece of glass because what I propose to do now is to moisten with some warm clean water the back of the envelope over the, the joint areas where the envelope was glued together at the time of it being made. The idea of this is that I can relax the paper and then open out the envelope into a flat sheet of paper as it was and then I can see just how much paper is missing from what is needed to make it a complete item once more. So I don't know how long it'll take for the, the glue to soften but we very carefully run a knife under the jointed area here. Here we are now that's that's lifting quite nicely there. This is the original flap. I'm running the folder under there. And so here we are. So now that allows us to open out the envelope. Don't go away. With a moist cloth here. I'm just going to remove a lot of this gum arabic from the envelope so we've got now the envelope in the open position with a, a moist cloth just lightly dab at it and this moisture will relax the paper fibers and this relaxing allows all the creases to come out you then present the flap to the envelope there's not all that much missing it's just that it's been torn very irregularly just a little bit here that might need turning out underneath there which I can't see because the camera's in the way but it's done. <laughs> there we are right, every, every bookbinder has a stack of old paper and here I've got a piece of old tissue from a, an, an old book and this should be strong enough to be able to effect our repair and I'm using a PVA adhesive. This is laid over the damaged area of the envelope, overlapping it slightly so that we've got something to, to trim away afterwards. Just press down firmly with our folders. This offcut here, we also have a, a weak area on this corner here. And also lay a piece of tissue over there and then the next thing to do is just leave it for well it's now Friday so I'll leave it over the weekend to dry out look out for the new shirt we left off our, our filming last week putting the, uh, the envelope we repaired between boards to dry out but of course uh, with, with all the heat of the New Zealand summer it is now dry and uh, as you can see it's all quite stabilized now with our tissue repairs on the the weaker parts and the tears so all it remains now is for me to uh, very carefully trim around the profile of the actual envelope and trim off the surplus reinforcing tissue back to its original profile and we can hardly see the tissue repairs underneath I take a piece of manila which is the size of the envelope and fold it around and this provides a little bit of body to the the item so that when it goes into the album to be mounted on transparent photo corners there's a, there's a bit of body there for it to hang on to a modicum of adhesive 
to this bottom flap here. Dab of French chalk just to sort of neutralise any stickiness. And there we are. That's our envelope and it looks a lot tidier than what it was before we started. And what was a 20 cent or 25 cent item will be at least worth 30, 30 cents now. <laughs>